everybody and happy video Monday. Tisha Mahar here. This week I want to answer a question that I received from Robin Mendel. So Robin asked, if going grain free, what are the best tubers, starches to eat and how much should you eat daily? So as with all things Robin, it's going to vary a lot from individual to individual. Some people tolerate wheat and seem to do okay. Others, of course, don't. The majority, I believe, these days are better off following a gluten-free um, diet, but that's not everybody. There are the exceptions to that for sure. Now, if you feel that you really do want to avoid gluten, there are, of course, other options like brown rice, jasmine rice, white rice, um, uh, buckwheat, um, quinoa, millet, all different options. The other thing that people don't realize is that um, millet and quinoa are actually not official grains. They are grain-like seeds. So even if you want to stay away from rice and wheat and oats, for example, you may tolerate quinoa and millet a lot better. So you could try those. Buckwheat is another great gluten-free grain that, that a lot of people tend to tolerate a little bit better. Um, oats can be purchased uh, gluten-free, like uh, no cross-contamination. You just have to pay a little bit more and seek them out uh, at health food stores. But that's another possibility. So you can go gluten-free and still incorporate grains into your diet in a healthy way. If, however, you're really um, adamant about just staying away from uh, grains altogether. A lot of people feel that grains aren't fit for human consumption. Um, I, I try to approach that from a little bit more of a relaxed um, direction. I think that in small amounts and finding the ones that your body tolerates, I, I think like, grains can have their place, but I wouldn't go crazy with them. I would, I would, you know, eat them maybe a few times a week or maybe once a day at the most. Um, balance, like all things. If you want to stay away from grains though, totally not a problem. It is very possible to eat a totally super healthy, balanced diet without incorporating grains. So if that's you, if you want to stay or go grain free, um, these are some great ideas for you. Beets, carrots, uh, yams, sweet potatoes, pumpkin, tiger nuts, which are actually a tuber and not a nut. All of these are really awesome ways to get starch into your diet, a little bit more dense carbohydrate without going to the grains. The other one is green bananas. Um, normal bananas too, but green bananas are actually known for their um, uh, having a high percentage of what's called resistant starch, which is super beneficial for the, the gut flora, your gut flora. So that might be something else to try if you're not turned off by green, starchy, less sweet bananas. Um, so yeah, give those a try. If you're going grain free, I mean, you could always do it for a while anyways, and then test bringing in the odd grain every once in a while if you felt you wanted to or you desired but all of those starches now are great. Now, if you are in terms of how many, how much to have per day, this is gonna depend on the size of the person, their activity level. I find personally, if I cut all starches out altogether, which I've done in the past, I've done just about everything. Um, if I do that, I find that my sleep starts to suffer. I'm not sleeping as well. I find um, my energy levels or my workouts specifically start to suffer a little bit. So I know that I need a little bit of that. Now that said, if I start to eat some uh, starchy food, whether it be vegetable or grain at every meal, I'm also in trouble. I find my blood sugar is going all over the place. It's too much for me personally. So most nights of the week, I have one serving of starchy food. Sometimes it's a grain, sometimes it's a vegetable. I do that most evenings of the week. Other people will feel better keeping their starch to the first meal of the day. For me, I find if I do that, I have more cravings throughout the rest of the day for other starchy things. So for me, it is best to have my starch at night and I find that aids my sleep nicely. So 
try incorporating, you know, small amounts at each meal. Try just the morning, try just the night, and you'll find in time the amount that works for you. In terms of serving size, I think half a cup of any of those starches is good. Um, and again, you can see whether you do better with having it once a day, two times a day. If you're super, super active, you might be able to get away with a little bit more. When weight loss is the goal, usually you don't want to have starchy food at every single meal. Usually once or, or twice a day is, is a better way of approaching that. Um, so that's my take on starchy food and grains and such. Let me know if you have any questions, message below this video or send me a message through my Facebook page, Tisha Mahar and the Home of Living Life or through my website, www.tishamahar.com. I hope you have an awesome week. Thank you so much for your amazing Video Monday requests. For um, all the other uh, others of you who are watching this who, who also sent in a request, stay tuned for those topics in the upcoming weeks. Thanks a lot, guys. Love ya. Have a great week and uh, happy Monday. Bye.